Hey, do you want the rest of my... Okay. Actually, I was going to say eggs. Okay. But... You know, it's not you versus your cholesterol pills. You're supposed to be working together. You know, I do love my single life, but it would be nice to have someone who didn't want me to die. Well, you do. A whole city full of escorts. I'm just saying, if you watch the beginning closely, it gives away the ending. Oh, my God. Is he still talking about Inception? No. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They, they play this song at the beginning, and it gives away the ending. You know, it'd be like if at the beginning of Sixth Sense, they had a song that went, Bruce Willis helps kid who see he's ghost, but he's the only one who's really dead. Anyway, I'm just here to grab some food and go. I'm taking a bus to New Jersey. I have to take the family Christmas picture. Mm. Oh, is Adam going? No, my mom wants family only. <laughs> I found the perfect sweater, but whatever. <laughs> oh, wait, you're going to miss the office Christmas party. Oh, I guess I'll have to wait to find out if it was a candy cane in your pocket or you were just happy to see her. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it was both. <laughs> right, Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to exchange Christmas presents. I have the best gift for her. I made her this coupon book full of little favors, you know, like um, with hugs and massages and cuddles. Cuddles, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> There's a peek into our home life. Oh, I have the greatest present for Jen, too. Ah, no, that's a candy cane. <laughs> Excuse me, could I get some honey for my tea? Throat's a little sore. Yeah. Audrey and I went to a Christmas party last night, and as usual, she did the lion's share of the talking. <laughs> That's because all you ever say is nice to see you, and where's the bar? I really only care about the second thing. <laughs> anyway, that's why at parties, I have to carry us as a couple. Good thing I'm the funny one. <laughs> You're the funny one? He knew that. I don't think anyone knew that. <laughs> Audrey, I think you're funny. Thank you. Remember that time she wore that gray coat and it was like so ridiculous oh, yeah. with the straps all over. Oh yeah, everywhere. yeah, that was hilarious. And Jeff said she looked like a Civil War general. Yeah. <laughs> Jackets like that are in. In 1863. <laughs> My dearest Annabelle, the war rages on. But I must thank you for the fine garments you procured. <laughs> Actually, Audrey is the butt of those jokes, so you would be the butt of the couple. See, I don't have to resort to cheap shots and insults. Like last night, I got a great reaction when I told that story about our trip to Oahu. I think it's pronounced Ohio. <laughs> um, it's in Hawaii. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Somebody get her a map, huh? <laughs> It's gonna be a very Merry Christmas, or whatever creepy pagan ritual you observe. What accounts for your anticipation of said merriment, sir? Well, I accidentally stumbled upon Adam's homemade Christmas coupons for Jen. You mean went into his office and stole? Stumbled upon, yes. <laughs> oh, dear me, he's certainly liberal with the glitter, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. But I figure, why restrict Adam's generosity to Jen when the joy could be spread to so many? I mean, who wouldn't want a back rub from Adam? <laughs> or who wouldn't want a shampooing from Adam? Hey, who's that white kid in shipping with the nasty dreads with the bugs in him? That would be Nate. Nate! Oh, he's gonna be <laughs> What's wrong? I'm having fun at someone's expense and it's not yours. You should be enjoying this. Oh, I suppose I'm still wistful about my breakup with Allison, sir. Ah. I guess long-distance relationships are just too difficult to listen to, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think the office Christmas party is the perfect thing to cheer you up. I'm not sure I'm really in the mood for a party. Ah, oh, come on. Let's put Allison behind you and some other bimbo under you. 
Perhaps it is time for me to move on. I guess I won't meet anybody new just sitting at home. Look, I want to help you out. How about I make you official party greeter? Oh, I'd be honored, sir. Yeah, and I'm sorry about you and Allison. Would a hug help? You know, it just might, sir. Ah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> Wow, your company really stepped it up this year. I'll reserve judgment until I see the size of the shrimp. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Oh, hey, nice to see you. Where's the bar? <laughs> it's right over there. Audrey, you remember Dan and his girlfriend, Barbara? Hi. Actually, it's fiance. Oh, Dan and his girlfriend, fiance. That's lovely. Dan. <laughs> no, her name is Barbara. We just got engaged. Oh, that makes sense. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, a little advice on the road to marriage. Don't be afraid to drive drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are going to follow his roadmap, don't get lost, because he's not going to ask for directions. <laughs> why would I ask for directions if uh, we have a roadmap? I uh, no, that, that's why it's funny. You know, because guys don't ask for directions. Dan does. <laughs> OK, but that's unusual. Especially now that everybody's got GPS. <laughs> GPS. I, that, that wasn't even a joke. He, he was just stating facts. <laughs> it must be the way he said it. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? What do you mean? Wait, are you trying to prove that you're the funny one? No. Because if you are, I'll run home and grab that Civil War jacket for you. They're very in. Come out, Timmy. Mr. Dunbar, when I agreed to be the party greeter, I did not agree to this. Come on, chicks dig a man in uniform. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, don me now our gay apparel. I finally get that. That's your way of encouraging me to stay in this outfit? No, my way of encouraging you to stay in the outfit was throwing your clothes down the garbage chute. Come on, let's hit the party. No, sir. I'm leaving here with what's left of my dignity. <laughs> oh, no, he's got little bells on his shoes. It's too good. I see what you're trying to do. Mm. You're trying to humiliate me for your own amusement. But you know what? I am not going to give you the satisfaction. I'm staying. Oh, that'll show me. <laughs> I'll show you by wearing this ensemble with pride. I don't know if using the word ensemble is helping your cause. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Mock away. Well, I'm trying. Stop interrupting. <laughs> You're going to be the one who's disappointed when people rally around my costume and appreciate its holiday spirit. Okay. Ladies, welcome as your official greeter. Please allow me to point out that the bar and light hors d'oeuvres are that way. Thanks. Hey, which way do the guys with pants? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Aw, uh, and they didn't even hear you walk. Oh, Adam. Thanks so much for the gift. Gift? Uh, what gift is that? One of your special super squeezy hugs. Wait a minute, where'd you get that? It was in my Christmas stocking. Okay, um, look, Evelyn, there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. Um, that coupon wasn't meant for you. Oh, that's too bad. I've had kind of a rough week with the subway incident and all. I could have really used a hug. Wait. I am a man of my word. Get over here, you. <laughs> Feel better? The coupon says two full minutes. <laughs> That's why you work in legal. Oh, hey, there you are. Guess I could have found you sooner, but you know, guys, we don't ask for directions. <laughs> Stupid Dan and his dumb fiance. How could they not know about that? I don't know. 
Maybe they're not hip to the stand-up comedy themes of the 80s. You know what I should do? Just try to relax and have fun. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. No. I'm going to bust out my Hawaii story, and you are going to set me up. So start talking about islands or vacations. Oh, there's pineapple on the buffet. I don't need you. And yeah, why has it become such a big deal all of a sudden for you to be the funny one? Who said it's a big deal? Oh, come on. I saw you making notes on a napkin over there. Maybe it's because I'm not working. I'm self-conscious about that. Andre, you don't have to be self-conscious about anything. You're charming, beautiful. Oh, that's sweet. And I know you mean it because it's the first drink. <laughs> Second? We've been here like eight minutes. Time for a refill. And my grandmother had a heart attack right on Waikiki Beach. So we had to drop everything and fly there. Straight from the airport to the morgue. Not exactly a dream trip to Hawaii. Excuse me. I couldn't help but overhearing. Did someone just say Hawaii? <laughs> You know, last time I saw legs like that, they were curled up under Dorothy's house. <laughs> good one, sir. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have more good cheer to spread. By letting everyone make fun of you? Here, I'll help. Check this out. These days, even the North Pole is outsourcing. It's Indian. Keep walking. Uh -huh. hey, are we hearing these bells, people? So originally the coupons were for my fiance, then Russell, who shall remain nameless, <laughs> gave him out. But you know what? I'm rolling with it. How's the pressure, Vic? You can go a little deeper. <laughs> so day five, still no luggage. Finally, we go to check out. What do I see at the bell desk? Our bags which had been there the entire time. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine a worse trip to Hawaii? <laughs> Why story? Wish I could say I was surprised. Get that bunion checked out. It's a little angry. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Merry Christmas. I can't believe you're actually doing this stuff. Well, it was a little awkward at first, but I'm brightening their day, which makes my Christmas even better. Better? It's supposed to be worse. Oh, I'm sorry, but your little prank backfired. Plus, Still give the coupons to Jen now that I got them all back. <laughs> uh, nerd. Yep. Wait a minute, they're not all here. Hey, Adam. Oh, hey, Scotty. I'd like to cash this in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, how about a little foot rub or maybe a nice back massage instead? I want that one. <laughs> okay, Scotty, let's do this. You okay? Uh, well, I just told what I thought was a funny story and it made a woman cry. Was it the asking for directions thing? Cause I don't really get it. But it didn't make me cry. Uh, maybe Jeff's right. He thinks I try too hard at parties. But look how hard he's working the buffet. <laughs> oh, God. Look at the poor guy stuck behind him. Look at that guy in magazine. It's gonna be a while, pal. <laughs> he looks like a whale scooping up plankton. <laughs> That's hilarious. It is? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, what are you talking about, Jeff? He looks like a 
bear with a tapeworm. <laughs> tapeworm. <laughs> oh, check it out. Now he's stuck behind someone. Watch him pull the old tap and slide. Tap and slide. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, there's Jeff, passed out at the table, hands down his pants. <laughs> all in all, not a great first Thanksgiving with my parents. Oh. <laughs> oh, here he comes. I bet he has the location of a food item. Hey, I just hear the stuffed mushroom guy was. <laughs> <laughs> like you were doing great? I was. Felt pretty good. And you know, couldn't have done it without you. So you learned from the master. <laughs> you were definitely my inspiration. Come on, good. All right, thank you. You know, I can't believe they make you wear this get up. Nobody made me. I wore this myself. Why would you do that? <laughs> Because it's Christmas, and if you can't have fun and loosen up on Christmas, when can you? Ah. Hey, speaking of loosening up... I have no interest in hearing how that sentence ends. <laughs> Come on, can't you let a guy try? Sorry, you're not really my type. Really, what's your type? Well, someone who embraces the joy of the holidays. Mm. Someone who gets into the fun and the spirit of Christmas. Christmas nerds! <laughs> oh. oh, nothing on the coupon about that, Scotty. Not good diner eggnog. Really? Let me try it. Get your own. Oh, here it is. My mom sent me our family Christmas photo. Oh. Oh, wait. I thought Adam wasn't going to be in it. Oh, that's my cousin Cynthia. Something's going on with her hormone wise. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Ghost of Christmas Future come bearing test results? <laughs> We skip the pleasantries. What's your problem? My problem is, I tried to ruin all my friends' Christmases and they had fun anyway. What's the matter with you? You're gonna have to be more specific. You're sad because you weren't able to ruin Christmas for other people. I am. But maybe you're right. Maybe that's not what Christmas is all about. Maybe. You think maybe it might not be about that? <laughs> Why are you so against people enjoying Christmas? Because I never did. When I was a kid, every December, my parents went to the Bahamas and left me at home with my nanny, Helga. Mm, poor Helga. <laughs> You're trying to make others feel awful because misery loves company. See, Jeff agrees with and approves of my behavior. <laughs> but maybe I should try to change my holiday spirit. You should. I wasn't really looking forward to the holidays this year, but looks like it's going to be a Merry Christmas after all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I unscrewed that last night. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. God bless us all. <laughs> OK, so I know it's not Christmas yet, but I want to give you a present now. Cuddles, yep. massage, mm -hmm. breakfast in bed. Oh my gosh, and these are all actually gifts for me. None of them is really a gift for you. Well, there is one in there that's kind of a gift for me. I don't see it. Huh? Oh, come on, Scott. 
Scotty. I'll be right back. We get to talk to that guy? Talk? I wish.